Frankie De Jong. Today we have Frankie De Jong, man. Um, one of my subscribers suggested that I react to Frankie De Jong because of um, I did react to Sergio Busquets. Sergio Busquets is probably, in my opinion, a better CDM. Um, but I think athletically, athletically, I think Frankie De Jong's obviously he's younger. He's more. He's more. Uh, He's more versatile, he can go forward more, but Sergio Biscuits, I don't think anyone can touch Sergio Biscuits when it comes to that CDM role of keeping the ball. He rarely loses the ball, Biscuits, and he's been doing it for years. That's why I rate him higher than Frankie De Jong. Um, but I haven't really been seeing Frankie De Jong playing for Barcelona at the moment. I don't know whether he's injured or he's, he's just playing on the, he's just sitting on the bench. I have no idea, I haven't been um, seeing him. Um, I really do think Frankie De Jong should maybe have made a move to uh, the Premier League, I feel like he should have done that. Uh, maybe to Arsenal, Chelsea. Um, I feel like he would have fit in really well. Not at Man United. I don't think any midfielder should go to Man United at the moment. Uh, in fact, any player, to be honest with you, I just don't think it's the right move. They, that club is in a, 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 in a wreck, a massive wreck. And that, that starts from the, the ground to the top. Not just the players, not just the performances, but the whole club itself. Um, but yeah, guys. We're really gonna we're gonna see how much of a how much of a talent this guy is. I mean, I've already seen this guy play. Um, I do think he's class. He is quality, and he is a player that Xavi obviously wanted at the time. He wants him to play for Barcelona, but I've just haven't seen much of him. I don't know what the dilemma is. But anyway, guys, let's watch Frankie Dion. Yeah, that's very fairly simple. Kept him on side, mate. Got a finish. Great ball. That's a great ball. Great finish. Love that. Love that. Oi. So fairly simple again. I mean, Oh, I'll tell you Great ball. Look at that, I love the way, I love the way he takes that, opens his body up, takes that ball and he slips through ball. This is why, this is what I'm saying, like, this is why he's class. Don't get me wrong, I've seen him do the turns, but for me, when he opens up his body and, ah, oh, it's just, so, it's just, it's just pure techers. Look at that. Got to do better than that. Got to hit the target from there.
Yeah, that's the turn I'm talking about. Another great pass. Oh, beautiful. Look, the way he go, that's what I'm saying. He likes to go forward. Whereas Biscuits won't do that. Biscuits won't drive forward. He hasn't got the legs anymore. But you, you never usually tend to see Biscuits do that. Coming from the ether, do you currently drive or have you driven a diesel car manufactured by Jaguar Land Rover after 2009 and before 2019? Breathe a little deeper Fallen, broken A million light years away from home My eyes opened And now I've come to claim life Oh, oh, oh. never let it go These wings carry me Live this fantasy oh. Do you know what annoys me? And do you know what uh, ex-professional player was saying this? Thierry Henry was saying that everyone who... Do you know what? This is the, I'm going to break it down like this. You get, you get football fans that just love watching the game. You get football fans that again may watch the game from time to time they they're familiar with the teams they're familiar with the players then you get fans that know everything about the game managing wise coaching wise then you've got the fans that have played the game decent level amateur level professional level maybe maybe a professional level i don't know and the thing is we tend to not me in general because i understand the game and i every single player is skilled in that position and everything they do is skillful but what m m most fans that have never played the game don't understand how hard it is to ping a pass a diagonal pass how to switch a pass first time how to they don't understand how hard it actually is to do don't get me wrong if you play the game and you've played it for years on years end it's probably going to be <coughs> Sorry guys, it's probably going to be a lot easier for you to switch passes and do all these things that come naturally to you. But we te most fans tend to look at, oh, Messi just dribbled past loads of players and scored, Ronaldo scored, oh, no, no. They all look at the goals and the bicycle kicks and all these things that people do. Don't get me wrong, they are hard to do. They're hard skills to pull off. But what about the diagonal pass? What about the full, the, the through ball De Bruyne played? What about that pass he played into his feet with 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 crisp with ball speed? What about the 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 dark the eighty yard diag that he switched just to get his team up the field? Like people don't understand how hard those skills are, and this is what I'm saying. That's why Frankie De Jong is a quality player, and Barcelona understand that because that's their philosophy. And the things that he is doing on the ball, yeah, he's not the most skillful, and he he doesn't score the most goals. But watch what he does. He turns plays people in turns plays people in even the simple passes he does gets it back plays back. it's suit it's class it's you can't touch that it, 
I mean, even to keep, even here, even to keep the ball that close to him is just ridiculous. In the middle, middle of the park. Watch, look at that. It's perfect. It's not like the ball's ahead of him and he's got a. Now the guy's got to try and make something out of it. His passes are inch perfect for players. Perfect. Here he goes. Gets the one, two. Gets them out. Gets them out of trouble. Wins the ball back. Goes forward. People don't realise how, how important these things look. Great pass. But would have Messi scored that if the pass was behind him? He, no, the pass was perfect. What a pass. Look you know how hard that is. Oh! Just different clock. Oh, center forward. I mean, when you watch Messi, though, you've got to, you've got. I'm in awe. You've got to be in awe when you watch Messi. With the ball into the area, and Brings it back. Wow, what a player, what a player he is. Don't, again, you guys need to understand if you don't watch the game consistently or you don't play it, start to dig into these kind of players, start to watch these kind of players and what they do because people don't appreciate them enough, man, like for what they do, what they bring to the team. We all, it's all good looking at the goal scorers and the guys that score the goals and putting them into the limelight. Don't get me wrong, goals win your games. But in order to get goals, you need assists. In order to get assists, you need people that are more than, more than willing to put their body on the line to defend and give you the ball. Give the ball to the player that, that can find a player to score. So it, again, people, I think sometimes people fail to understand that it's a team sport. It's not an individual player's sport. It's not, one, it's not a one-man show. Don't get me wrong, Messi has, has has showed up plenty of times on his own and dribbled past players, fair play. That's one exception. But when you watch Premier League teams, there isn't one guy you count on. 
There isn't. You look at Man City, yeah, Haaland scores goals, but you take Haaland out of the equation, Man City are still going to score goals because they're a team that can do that. So the more I feel like players like Frankie de Jong, they're just so underrated sometimes because people don't, people think that passing an 80 yard ball or passing a nice dink ball over the top and through ball is easy. It's not. Even if you start playing football now, try and play a through ball to someone, you won't be able to do it. You won't, it takes out, it takes repetition after repetition to perfect that. Even the first time passes he was playing, that takes hours of perfection just to master the weight of the ball. It's like golf. You turn up and you try and hit a golf ball, you ain't gonna hit it clean. You're not gonna hit it yards on because you've never swung a golf club before. It's the same thing. It's like, honestly, people watch football and they think it's easy. It's not easy. Or you think you can do, you ain't doing nothing. <laughs> You're not doing anything. Trust me. Trust me. I've been, I've been playing football for a long time and it's not easy. When I first started playing, I couldn't even kick the ball. I couldn't even ping a pass. Like even getting under the ball, executing that, it's not easy. But for you football fanatics, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section what football uh, footballer you want me to react to next. Make sure to go and follow me on Instagram as well. Hit me up on Instagram. Um, yeah, guys. On to the next. On to the next. <laughs>